Hello and welcome to another episode of Blackboard Wednesday. I'm your host Jonah. This is where we cover music theory, ideas, concepts, and other music tutorials. In today's episode I will be covering basic chord qualities. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so let's start off with the most basic chord, which is a major chord. And a major chord consists of the root note, the major third, and the perfect fifth of a key. So if I'm in the key of C, the root would be C, the major third would be E, and then G would be the perfect fifth. So this is a major C chord. To change the quality of the chord, we can change the intervals within the chord to change how it sounds and the tone and color of it. So if I wanted to make it minor, for instance, I would take the major third and make it a minor third, which would make it E flat. So now this minor chord would consist of C, E flat, and G. And so that is a C minor chord. Now, if I want to add a little bit more dissonance to a minor chord, I can also lower the fifth half a step and make it a diminished fifth. And so this would be a C diminished chord. It would consist of a C, E flat, and a G flat. So together it sounds like this. And then the next basic chord quality we're gonna go back to the major chord. So the major chord again consists of the root, the major third, and a perfect fifth. But now we're gonna raise the fifth up half a step to an augmented fifth, which would be G sharp. An augmented chord would have the root, a major third, and a augmented fifth. So together it sounds like this. These rules apply for any key that we're in. I was playing in the key of C, but we could easily move that to F, and the same rules apply. So F major would be F, the root, A, the major third, and C, the perfect fifth. If I wanted to make it minor, I lower the, the third to a minor third, diminished, I lower the fifth to a diminished fifth, and then if I wanted to make it augmented from a major chord, I just raise the fifth up half a step to an augmented fifth. Those are the four basic chord qualities. We have major, minor, diminished, and augmented. You can experiment with the different sounds that they produce. Some are a little bit more dissonant than others. And we will get into diatonic chords and where they fall in the place within the key. That concludes today's episode. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions or recommendations for future episodes, please leave them in the comments below. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please like and share. Thank you, and I hope to see you next week.